G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again for another very quick video. I was super excited when I did that test with the MTN94 paints from Montana where I was doing a gradient test and you can check out that video in the card here. Um, I was so excited that I had to start painting a model straight away. So I grabbed a squad barracks from the Invictus range and smashed it out in you know between 15 and 20 minutes so let's just jump straight into it um you know i start off by painting the model black you know i'm going to do this regardless of how well those paints cover uh the black base coat really gives me somewhere to start from uh, all of these paints dry super quick especially with a hair dryer you can see it just drying on camera i take that jace blue and i'm just giving the model a very gentle coat you can still see that some of that black is showing through that's what's going to help pre-shade this model for me that black undercoat uh, and then I give the model you know just a very quick coat with this base color uh, again they dry super quick I do get the hair dryer out as you can see just to help this model dry faster and now I'm going to use this Chernobyl gray just to dust gently over the top of this model uh, to give me that highlight that I'm looking for and that gentle gradient um, between the base color and you can really see it there on the back door or that back panel there that I, you know, could be a door, whatever. Um, and it, it's worked out so well. This wash that I'm going to drown this model in is basically, let me, let me just pause that. That wash that I've mixed up, I use that on quite a few things and you'll see that in videos as I'm moving forward. It's basically some black tint thinned heavily with waters. Black tint is what you'd get when you go to the paint department in your local hardware store and they've got one of those carousels with all the color options and you know their, their, their tints in them. You know they measure it out and squeeze it into the tin and you know go to the next one and measure it out and squeeze like little drops into a tin. Um, you know they put tiny tiny drops into a massive tin and mix it all up. That's the tint, the raw tint. So I went to the hardware store here in Australia called Bunnings and said can I just get some of the black tint please? And they got like a little, like a specimen jar kind of thing and put a couple of squirts into it for me and said, here, you can just have this. It didn't cost me anything. They just gave it to me for free. I don't know if they do that for other people. I don't know if they do that again. If I went back and asked again, I have no idea. But that black tint is super concentrated pigment. And so in that bottle that you saw me pour into the airbrush was probably a couple of milliliters of tint. And I just filled that bottle all the way up to the top with water. It's one liter bottle. And uh, I put it in the airbrush and I just drowned the model in this stuff. And then I'll come back and I'll soak up any excess. If you didn't soak it up, you know, you can already see in that transition there that, you know, it's already settled itself out. You do want to clean it up off some of the edges. Obviously it's going to pull quite badly. Um, but you know, this is just helping to soak into the lines that have been laser etched into that MDF and give the model some shading. I'm going to give the model a very gentle dry brush with some of this cold metal. And you'll see here I'm removing my glove and I dry brush out on my hand, on my skin. Well, I don't know why, but it just seems to help with the consistency of the dry brush. You know, I, I, it might just be a habit thing, who knows. I'm just hitting the very peak edges of those of that top, top trim detail, the edges where all that MDF joins, just to help that edge pop. I'm not going anywhere near any of the panels or anything like that. I just want that top to pop. I'm going to put some chipping on this model. Now, I'm just going to pause that and come back. You know, chipping is something that really adds a whole bunch of interest to a model with very, very little effort. Now, on this model, I did really crap, crap out on the effort. Um, you know, in you know, I, if, for ones that I do in the future, I'd probably come back and add a little bit of extra rust, throw some browns in there, some lighter browns and some oranges. But, you know, this was happening right in the middle of me shooting the footage for me testing how this paint behaves with regular wall paint. And so I just wanted to see something completed. So I really went minimal with the effort. here. I get some gray paint, which in hindsight, it's not really the best choice. Um, and you know, as I'm ripping up that sponge, I'm thinking, no, this gray is not the best choice. So I went and got that black. Put the black on first. Now, you know, dip it into the paint, sponge it off. You can see me sponging it off on that MDF palette there, just to remove all the excess. And then I'm just touching gently onto the model in areas where I want it to be heavier, I'm pushing that sponge onto that uh, model a little bit firmer. I'll go through and do the black first. I'm sure you've seen this technique on so many different channels and I've probably shown it in the past on my channel as well. 
you know, in the 12 years I've been doing this, I don't remember what I've uploaded. And then I come back with the gray and go over the top of it. And the model's finished. I'm gonna call that finished. I'll pause that right there. You can see there's some trim detail on this, uh, some etching detail, those little triangles, that little circle thing in the middle, that little square up on the top. Down on the bottom right, you can see there's a couple of squares. Those details I wanted to pick out with some paint pens, uh, which you will see me using in future videos, but I couldn't, I couldn't find them in the studio because, you know, we just don't put things back where they're supposed to be and they've all just gone missing. So I'm going to have to get some new paint pens and then, you know, I would have picked out some of those details, but you know, in the interest of just momentum and moving forward, you know, I'll do some videos on using paint pens to add interest to models in the future. And, you know, this has come up for 15 to 20 minutes worth of effort. Uh, you can see, I'm just going to pause this here. You can see that panel transition there in the middle where the two MDF parts join. It's much brighter. That's where I've dry brushed on that edge, not on the actual panel itself. You can see it's still quite dirty. It's got that black wash on it. You know, it, you know, the model has enough interest to be passable and, you know, be well usable in the game. And again, on this model here, this is the Invictus model from Knights of Dice, uh, the Squad Barracks, sorry, from the Invictus range from Knights of Dice. And I'll leave a link to the description in the description below to uh, this specific model. And you can check out all the other models from the Invictus range. Now might be a good time to say, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click on the link below. Um, I, I really, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, watching. It's been many, many years. Uh, I'll probably say this for the next couple of videos uh, that I've been producing videos on YouTube for 12 years coming up in uh, December, I think. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so click that red subscribe button, click the bell notification, which is a new feature. Well, it's not new, it's been around for a while, but for my channel, it's new. So click that notification button, select all, so you won't miss anything in the future. And if you do like the video, please click that like button. It takes just a second, but it really motivates me and keeps me encouraged to continue making videos. Anyway, we'll go back and finish off that turntable. It's a wonderful looking model. I'm very, very happy with it. It looks great. There we go. No more stuffing around. Nice and very quick. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time. See ya.